Pueblo pottery is a traditional form of pottery made by Native American people in the Southwestern United States. These pottery pieces are known for their intricate designs and vibrant colors, often reflecting symbols and stories from Pueblo culture and beliefs. They have a deep significance in American art and culture, and it represents a rich tradition that has been passed down through the generations. It's not about just making beautiful pottery, it's also a way for Pueblo artists to connect with their ancestors and preserve their cultural heritage. The fourth graders will be creating their own Pueblo pottery piece. We have these clay pieces ready to go. These are special kiln pencils that stay intact even after being fired in the kiln. On each corner on the bottom of the pot, the child will put his or her first initial, last initial, and then 4A, 4B, or 4C. Using these special pencils, this will be visible even after they're fired in the kiln. We will have visuals and samples of uh, Native American designs. The children will use a regular pencil to design each of the four sides of their Pueblo pot. And ch the children will also have coloring pages and crayons in the classroom. We will probably need to rotate in shifts because we don't have, we only have a limited number of the special glaze paint uh, tools for creating the designs on the pots. So here is one that Mrs. Blumquist has finished as an example. Again, these are special tools with a special tip where the glaze will gently come out with, with gentle pressure. And if the children do the designs first in pencil and use gentle pressure, <clears throat> the colors should come out very evenly. We have green, blue, red, brown, white, and black. <clears throat> These dry very quickly, and when, they're <clears throat> when the student's work is finished, they will go <clears throat> in this container, and they will be fired, and the next day, they will be ready to go, and this makes a beautiful piece um, for your child to remember the fourth grade Week of the Arts experience. The parents who are helping with this will <clears throat> monitor every, every child's progress. And after the, the craft is complete, they will need to box everything up and deliver all of the supplies back to the art room. Mrs. Blumquist, do you have anything to add? Oh, you did such a nice job, Ms. Um, Clark. The one thing I do wanna add here is that after, these need to be standing up. These tips are, you need to press them down to make sure they are stable on the tip. And after a student uses any color, please put this pin back in the top because it keeps the, it keeps it from drying up and getting clogged. I will probably stop in on the day that we do this and just to give some tips to the fourth graders. We will also be reviewing it in the classroom um, prior to. Thank you. Thank you.